Who? Tens of thousands of anarchists. What? Protesting the Republican National Convention. Where? New York City. When? August 29th to September 2nd. That and a few well-staged images of protesters gone wild is all you would get if you just watched mainstream news. The truth is that hundreds of thousands of patriots, workers, and visionaries came to the aid of a ripe apple that didn't want to be plucked by the axe-welding lumberjack. After the revolution Corporate media rarely addresses the question, why? Why? Here's why. Because George Bush is stealing away the basic American birthright, the Bill of Rights, the right to assembly, the right to speech, the right to the press, the basic rights that all of us were born with and we should live our lives and pass on to the next generation. And we're not going to have, because of Ashcroft, the Patriot Act, and all the other infringements upon basic human freedoms. That's why. I'm against the gang of five, the liars, the greedy ones, the war makers. That's why I'm here today. And those are Republicans? And those are Republicans in this case, yes. And of course we have Republican Kerry too, but we're going to vote for him. Are you going to vote for Kerry? Yeah, we're going to vote for Kerry. Are you going to make him uh, change? Well, I hope so. We're going to hold his feet to the fire, absolutely. Good. And you are politically erect. the cops put down their guns. Milling innocent people lit up in the springtime air and moved me unlettered in Syracuse. Of course, I'm against the entire Bush agenda. There's very little they've left untouched between the war and the attack on our Bill of Rights and the uh, attack on the workers, the attack on our education. There's nothing they've left untouched. killing people in my name. I want Bush to go to the funerals and see what he's doing to people. No more terrorism at home. No more uh, fighting our civil rights. We have civil rights. They're disappearing under Bush. I want them back. We need the money in this country. Let's spend the money jobs here. here. We don't need to be killing people with money over in Iraq. Let's rebuild America first. Why are you here today? mostly to oppose the current administration and all the policies, be they for human rights or world peace or <coughs> simple thing is get an education in this town. They you know, leave no child behind, but they don't fund it. They talk about a bunch of stuff, but they don't actually do it. People are dying, and for what? Uh, Iraq had nothing to do with the 9-11 attacks. They took the goodwill of the world against for us after getting sucker punched, and they just turned it around and made it, made it look like uh, you know, we're even hated more now than before. Regime change. And the world breathed a sigh of relief after the revolution. We're going to die, we can't take it anymore. Okay, let me get that right. Workers fight back at the Pavilion Worker March. Workers fight back at the Pavilion Worker March. Why are you here, man? I'm trying to, um, well, mainly I'm here to protest the uh, policies of the Bush administration. And the war and the, um, the cutbacks on uh, social services and uh, the, the attack on workers. And I'm also letting people know that we're organizing a, a million worker march on October 17th. It's a national march in Washington. They say million worker, I think it's going to be more like four million because the workers all over the country are being cut back and they've lost overtime, they've lost their pensions, they've lost so much. And the workers are going to organize and we're all going to be out in Washington on October 17th. And all the billionaires had to learn how to share. And Bill Gates is told to quit his whining when he said it wasn't fair. And his mansion became a collective farm. After the revolution. Particularly because of his policies uh, in Iraq, uh, but generally his lack of support for the issues that are very important to most people. 
and his uh, twisting of the country uh, in a very right-wing and wrong direction. George Bush is, is not a conservative. He's a revolutionary, reactionary, if you know what I mean. He he's taking the country on a revolutionary, reactionary path that's very scary. Four more years of Bush could be, what's going to happen to the environment? Where, are we, where else are we going to have war? And, uh, you know, what's going to happen to education? It's going to be a big mess. It already is. So we're here to say no. We say, Bush, you're shitty. Get out of New York City. Why bother? Why bother? It's a national emergency. That Kerr Dog in the White House is a national emergency. The joining of, of uh, state and church, the war on the intellect, the war on freedom, the imperialism, the killing all around the globe, sending our young people who don't have an economic hope sending them off to die and calling them a volunteer army. It's just silencing the news, clamping down on the news, We're not letting us see the coffins draped in, in flags, not letting us know about the wounded, selling us a bill of hypocrisy. Are you going to vote for Kerry? Yeah, yeah we are. I decided I'm going to vote straight green except for the, the top was for, for president. Um, uh, was was uh, Kerry your first choice? Was he the best candidate in your no, opinion? No, but Who um, was? he will have to do. Who was? Um, Who was your favorite? Dean was my favorite, but I have to say um, Kerry will have to do, and we will have to do the work. We will have to commit ourselves to doing the work to make him into a president we can live with. I think this is a very important day to uh, express the feeling of what I, what I believe is the, uh, the position of the majority of the American people, that uh, the Bush administration do not represent uh, the needs, the, the aspiration, the best of what America is. We are on the verge of fascism, truly. And uh, we hope that this is one of many steps to be taken by us a very clearly, very determined fashion to awaken the American people that this is the time to do it. So what? today's demonstration is very important. They just voted something recently. Uh, they passed a directive that eliminates overtime for workers. Uh, my union, 1707 AFSME, is involved in uh, private, non-profit uh, uh, program that usually use public funds and they're drying up incredibly fast as all the funds of you know, the society are being spent and in, 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 in Iraq and in other places. Um, so this has been and it's clearly a restriction of, of civil liberties, people stopping you in the street and asking you uh, to identify yourself. And in a general way, uh, we, we, we hear the cacophony of lies and crying for, for, for violence and war. And uh, you look at the papers, the papers are covered with a shameful display of British force being used against the people of Iraq. And I think that's, that's a sign of things to come, unless we rise up and put an end to it. Why are you here today? Why am I here? Specifically? What, what brings you out? We're all here like Americans, and we all need to stick together. Now, in protests, usually it's the police who are considered like the bad guys. But man, they're just like us. You know, we're all working people, we're all Americans, and Bush is not for the working class, and he's only for the elite. And, you know, we, we need to get him right out of office. We need to get him right out of office, because the more you separate the rich from the poor, you're gonna throw us into a depression. Because that's not how economy works. It's not how America works. Have you had any luck uh, swaying the police, the police to, um, to join the protest? Yeah, I've had a lot of guys shake my hand. I've thanked a lot of them for 9-11. Um, I've told them all that they're doing a great job. And none of them have made any arrests. They've all been very courteous. 
And I'm just here not only to support these guys, not only to get a Bush out of office, but to tell them I'm voting Bush out of office for them. They're part of the working class. I got a job, they got a job. I keep you taking place. Watch me. Tell it down. We'll get you home. Don't forget about us. Don't forget about us. Alright, there you go. Thank you. What's the truth? My name was an inside job. There are uh, TV shows, radio shows uh, in Ireland, in the US, in Canada. There are books out. Uh, there's a huge movement worldwide. Stop using poor people to kill other poor people. Use the money to have homes and jobs for people in America. Stop giving billions of dollars to people that are in undemocratic governments that are corrupt, that are just buying big homes for themselves instead of having people being dead in hell. Why is because um, we're, uh, we were very disappointed that the Republicans chose to have Ground Zero as the backdrop of their convention this coming week. And so we decided to do a traditional circling ritual with bells that would be a ritual and observance for two reasons. One was to protect Ground Zero from the Republicans, to protect Ground Zero from being appropriated by the Republicans. And the other reason why was we wanted to do an observance of healing in honor of the victims of 9-11. Because um, that's really what this ground is all about. It's not about the Republicans or the Democrats. It's about the people who lost their lives here. And how New Yorkers feel about that. So. Um, so we feel we're doing, in a very simple but powerful way, we're accomplishing those goals. For the people who died, I think that um, they were sacrificed and um, they didn't even know that at the, t at the time um, it was the first salvo of a war against us and uh, I think they need honoring. So, that's why tonight. <laughs> Now ask me about why for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> yeah, why for the rest of the weekend? Uh, dumb and Dumber. <laughs> I am a Vietnam veteran against the war, uh, and uh, I think that his policy, whether it is um, what he did to get us in Iraq, the way he um, drove every one of our allies away from us, or um, um, what he's done to us economically, he has to be stopped, he and his um, um, compatriots. <laughs> did he have? He made us all less secure right. and killed tens of thousands of innocent people on top of it, so, promoted their agenda just you know, because of what happened here. I think actually Kerry is going to do really well, I think surprisingly well, because they keep asking likely voters and, you know, there's a lot of voter registration going on and a lot of angry people and I think they're going to come out to the polls. 
you think Carrie was the best choice? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who was the best choice? Well, we can spinach support. <laughs> as far as policies and um, someone being true, that's the guy. And he'd be out here today too. I'm not sure what he's doing, but you know, he's a man of the people. How did you feel about Dennis uh, after the Democratic convention? I'm still supportive of Dennis. I think he's making the choices that he needs to make. You gonna vote for Gary? Yeah. yeah, and I, the, the reason is I think that's my best chance for getting Bush out of the office. And so that's a, a tough choice and I'm going to make it. But I'm, I would like to keep being politically active and keep the pressure on Kerry to get out of there. And also to handle like the corporate challenges. Boys, refuse, resist, revolt, shut the system down and turn it around. The choice is yours. Shut it down or die. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please, the next time you hear people sing, we, we have to worry about what's good for us. Think it through. Is, is killing other people good for us? Is making enemies all over the world good for us? Is using all of our tax money to murder people all over the planet good for us? I mean, do you have health care today? No. You know that Israelis enjoy health care. It's paid for by your tax dollars. Your taxes that you pay for your labor pay for Israelis to enjoy health care. Now, that would be great if we could also have it, but why is it that our taxes pay for health care for Israelis and not for us? Right now, if you look at what Bush is proposing, which is unfortunately the same thing that Kerry is proposing, is really ending the rule of international law, abandoning the Geneva Conventions, sidelining the United Nations Charter, and just going ahead with a policy that says, we get to do whatever we want because there's terrorism in the world. Okay, this is a very dangerous policy. Freedom of speech, no police state. Freedom of speech, no police state. Freedom of speech, no police state. Freedom of speech. Everybody come up, it was totally free speech. We had a free bullhorn for people to talk on, and most people got taken away. We had at least what, like five people arrested by the NYPD for a peaceful gathering with arrested. a permit? Yeah, and what's this going is the on? first time. We had two bullhorns taken away, number 17 and number 18. We're, we're part of the, the No Police State Coalition. We hold a free speech speak out Monday, Thursday, and Saturday in Union Square. We've been, what, I think we have uh, 80 charges total of 29 arrests, all for freedom of speech. This isn't even during the RNC, during the DNC, this is every day we try to defend our rights. And you know, like the problem is, you know, they don't want us to have a bullhorn because they know it's easier for us to be organized and be heard. All right. So now, after this, like as you can hear, I've lost my voice pretty much. You know, yeah, it's all like the time. people dispersed, we had like a hundred people here when the cops came, and you know, that completely dispersed, but thank God you guys are here because now we can keep this up. In the media press, bench on my chest, didn't get paid. Didn't get funny, I got you know I'm not the one who lost my union contract. You are. That's funny. Watch your back. NYPD, CPR, targeting medics, bikes and press so far, coughing, preventing raids, blocking peaceful parades, didn't get paid. 
Didn't get laid, I got arrested twice. Walking down the street carrying a lens Trying to comply With the Fuji in the sky I didn't get paid Didn't get laid I got arrested Please. Contracts, man. I'm ridiculous. You're defending the folks that prevent you from having contracts. That's ridiculous. Some union you guys are. Solidarity with who? You don't even have solidarity with yourselves. But just like a bunch of class traders, just watch and see your contracts destroyed and protect those people. Figure out how to arrest that person gently. Will you stop your bullshit tank trap and get his ass off that out of that bicycle? Back off. Back off. Everybody back off. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one. The people will all get arrested. The people united will all get arrested. will all get arrested. I was in jail for 44 hours. They had me handcuffed for six hours behind my back. They, I, I pleaded and begged with them to take off my, my wrists cuffs and what they did was they took him off and they replaced him and they put him even tighter. I was with a retarded man. He was he was had a speech impediment. He was unable to speak and defend himself. They put two wrist straps on him. He had a lacerate a, a blood clot between the two straps. They couldn't remove him. He needed medical attention. They did not give it to him. The other gentleman I was with had facial lacerations. They kept him handcuffed and bound for six hours with no medical attention. They made us sleep in filth. There was there was uh, toxic chemicals on the floor. We had no other place to go but to lay on the floor because we were detained for 44 hours. They used every stall tactic in the business and then when I finally got to my arraigning court they said it's a, they charged me with a, with a misdemeanor, not even a misdemeanor. Everybody was charged with a, I, I, I don't know what it was, a, it was a very minor infraction and they just dismissed us after, after 44 hours of incarceration. I'm not a terrorist, I'm a patriotic citizen. Yeah! I, I know what that yeah! Is. A patriot that stands up for freedom and justice. It's a we the people, for the people, by the people, of the people, and I am the people, and so are you, and we need to stand up and fight back. Yeah. 
In America, we're the boss. We're not their slaves. But in the name of security, you notice how they're inverting that now, yes. flipping that over, that we're the slaves for our own good. Well, that's what slave masters in Rome or in Alabama said. Yes. It's God always, oh, for them yeah. dumb people. We got to take care of them dumb people. They're too ignorant. They're too stupid. We got to mind their ways and run their lives and not let them learn too much because then they get uppity. Now in America, from coast to coast, fellow Victorians, uh, uh, at public schools are told you'll lose your diploma, which is by the way illegal, if you get up when uh, some politicians here and speak out or if you say something that's wrong up there in your acceptance speech. And they've told colleges, they've gotten up and said if you boo or say anything, you will lose your diploma that you paid fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 for. God, imagine growing up hearing in Russia, well, if you criticize the government, they take your diploma. Did Russia do that? I've been told that I'm going to lose my ability to, to travel on airplanes. Oh, yeah, once they've arrested you as a so-called protester, that means the German and that means the German, British, and French uh, uh, tourists, who they, they grab them in the big orange nets, then they're getting on no-fly list. It's already come out. They're trying to fly out of the country. Oh, sorry, you got arrested. When I, when so I, now, now being arrested, even if you weren't part of the protest, means you're out tight. George Bush sucks! Republican National Convention, and I feel that tonight, this unpermitted march was a beautiful thing. I think with civil disobedience, you can't take no for an answer, and DIY, doing it yourself, is all about no compromise, and um, at this point, I know that people have jobs in the morning, and all that other stuff that goes on in the city, but I feel that this is a lot more than important than any of that. It's accomplishing solidarity and it's accomplishing a big no 
to these police officers who are making us move at their every whim. And it may not be accomplishing much in the eyes of other people, but to me it's accomplishing a lot, and that's enough for me. And these other people here who are doing it for themselves, say no. And tell the Republican National Convention that they're not welcome. And that's how I feel about it. him but his own. The emancipation of the working class is the task of the workers alone. Then left, two, three, then left, two, three. There's a place, comrade, for you. Take a stand in the workers' united front, for you are a worker too. I think you guys did a great job tonight. Thanks. By the way. You know, I, you know, we try to work with you. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I was afraid that all hell was going to break loose, and it and it didn't. And the whole thing just petered out, and everybody kept their calm. And I just thought it was it was really well done. And this is and this is a civil disobedience action, and it's part of a contract. They expect to get arrested, and you arrest them, and and they've made their statement. And that's the, that's the way it works. That's the tradition of Gandhi and Martin Luther King. And and you know, and you guys were gentle about it, and it was all it was very cool. of his policies uh, in Iraq, uh, but generally his lack of support for the issues that are very important to most people, and his uh, twisting of the country uh, in a very right-wing and wrong direction. George Bush is he's not a conservative. He's a revolutionary, reactionary, if you know what I mean. He t he's taking the country on a revolutionary, reactionary path that's very scary. Four more years of Bush could be, what's going to happen to the environment? Where are we? Where else are we going to have war? And, uh, you know, what's going to happen to education? It's going to be a big mess. It already is. So we're here to say no. We say, Bush, you're shitty. Get out of New York City. Why bother? Why bother? It's a national emergency. Yes. And of course we have Republican Kerry too, but we're going to vote for him. You're going to vote for Kerry? Yeah, we're going to vote for Kerry. Are you going to make him uh, change? Well, I hope so. We're going to hold his feet to the fire, absolutely. Good. And you are politically correct. The cops put down their guns. Millions. Lit up in the springtime air and moved me unlettered in Syracuse. Of course, I'm against the entire Bush agenda. There's very little they've left untouched between the war and the attack on our Bill of Rights and uh, attack on the workers, the attack on our education. There's nothing they've left okay to destroy the environment. killing people in my name. I want Bush to go to the funerals and see what he's doing to people. No more terrorism at home. No more uh, fighting our civil rights. We have civil rights. They're disappearing under Bush. I want them back. We need the money in this country Let's spend the money for jobs here. here. We don't need to be killing people with money over in Iraq. Let's rebuild America first. Why are you here today? mostly to oppose uh, the current administration and all the policies, be they for human rights or world peace or <coughs> simple thing is get an education in this town. They you know, leave no child behind, but they don't fund it. They talk about a bunch of stuff, but they don't actually do it. People are dying, and for what? Uh, Iraq had nothing to do with the 9-11 attacks. They took the goodwill of the world against, for us after getting sucker punched 
and they just turned it around and made it, made it look like uh, no, we're even hated more now than before. Regime change. When the world breathed a sigh of relief after the revolution. We're gonna die. to protest the uh, policies of the Bush administration in the war and the, um, the cutbacks on uh, social services and uh, the, the attack on workers. And I'm also letting people know that we're organizing a, a million worker march on October 17th. It's a national march in Washington. They say million worker, I think it's going to be more like four million because the workers all over the country are being cut back and they've lost overtime, they've lost their pensions, they've lost so much. And the workers are going to organize, we're all going to be out in Washington on October 17th. And all the billionaires had to learn how to share. And Bill Gates was told to quit his whining when he said it wasn't fair. And his mansion became a collective fire. Who? Tens of thousands of anarchists. What? Protesting the Republican National Convention. Where? New York City. When? August 29th to September 2nd. That and a few well-staged images of protesters gone wild is all you would get if you just watched mainstream news. The truth is that hundreds of thousands of patriots, workers, and visionaries came to the aid of a ripe apple that didn't want to be plucked by the axe-welding lumberjack. After the revolution. Corporate media rarely addresses the question, why? Why? Here's why. Because George Bush is stealing away the basic American birthright, the Bill of Rights, the right to assembly, the right to speech, the right to the press, the basic rights that all of us were born with and we should live our lives and pass on to the next generation. And we're not going to have, because of Ashcroft, the Patriot Act, and all the other infringements upon basic human freedoms. That's why. Because I'm against the gang of five, the liars, the greedy ones, the war makers. That's why I'm here today. And those are Republicans? And those are Republicans in this case.